Well, what can you make from a tree? These are all entries into the competitions by members of the Association of Pole Lathe Turners and Green Woodworkers. So all of the items you see here have been made direct from the tree, working the wood while it's wet, and people have used largely hand tools and foot operated pole laves. So it really is craftsmanship at its best and there are some wonderful examples here. And look at that seat, a lovely bit of figuring in that grain with a nice bit of tiger eye in it. There are great advantages of working green wood. It works very easily while the wood is wet. You can get some unusual types of wood so you get lovely grain patterns and varieties that you just wouldn't get in a commercial timber yard as well. Nice couscous here. And there's a great variety of items that people make. So there's anything from chairs to bowls to implements uh, to decorative items. And it's great fun looking around. So I'll give you a bit of a flavour in the next few minutes of some of the entries and show you the types of things. We have a best in show and this year it was a lovely little bowl with a hand forged handle just coming into view there at the top. I'll show you properly in a minute. That's what got the best in show award. And I like looking around and just chatting to people and looking at the entries. Very nice selection of stools this year. I always enjoy looking at competition classes to see what people are coming out with. And you always get a few which stand out probably for one reason or another personally one likes them they're all lovely pieces of work i'm quite keen at some point i noticed peter follensby does a lot of this very nice work on oak here this one is it described as oops cleft oak piano stool it's nice it's simple it's lovely and strong in fact, this cleft oak, I think, is quite impressive. One of the nice things of green woodwork is you get people using nature. So here you've got this lovely sort of bowl that's been used as a feature in the furniture. I rather like this piece. It's got a hand-forged little handle. So a little bit of blacksmithing gone in there. And then a wedge to hold the lid on. And you lift it up and inside it's very nicely turned over and we've got a nice little bowl. I rather like this bird sculpture. I liked it even more actually when I realised it was a pestle and mortar. A very nice little coconut cup. So that's a cup made from a coconut shell. And the children really do come out with lovely imaginative ideas. This is a like a rucksack which a child's made and I was again seriously impressed by this nice little wooden plug uh, lid arrangement you can imagine a child really enjoying that here we have modern treen and again a whole selection of items it took me a minute to realize that these are actually forks which are being blacksmithed to make coat hooks works very well and just coming into view is a talking stick which you hold if you're the speaker and you pass it around so not everyone's talking at once. <laughs> Good bit of humour in there. Now this is a simple thing, it's a candle holder. I liked it because it's a simple bit of blacksmithing and then a nice bit of bowl turning. But it's something anyone could have a go at doing. I've been stripping bark recently and look at this, this is quite inspiring. It's a nice basket that someone's made using tree bark. I think I know who made this rake and it's very very nice and again some textiles and the colours they're so natural and lovely <laughs> sort of not artificial it is so you know I really like this sort of thing very skilled basket making here with split ash and a nice bit of leather work as well and I know this did well in the competition results so what happens is everyone votes uh, for what they like and you get a little card you tick off the, the top item you like and then the item with the most votes in each category is the winner so it's a very fair democratic process about 400 people attending so you've got a lot of people voting and a good spread an interesting knife sheath here uh, very attractive i didn't take it apart as 
it's a sharp knife inside and I was holding a camera but it, it does look a nice one and again I know that to get a placing lots of turn treen you see this is the thing with green wood people are getting a whole variety of different woods a lot of sported woods there which have lovely grain configurations and I think unlike sort of you know where you're using a seasoned timber people generally tend to find quite interesting bits of wood in very small parts and probably the kind of thing you wouldn't get otherwise and look at these a good number of entries in the side chair class a Hans Wegner in spa chair there just in view but again a nice variety of styles and a nice variety of seat types as well so plenty to see we have a class for children's chairs we don't have it every year but I do like seeing it when it comes along and there's some very skilled makers for children's chairs and it's nice to see the different styles that come out the one on the end I felt for a child was rather good fun it's the snakes and ladders and they've actually carved in little snakes and ladders into the back and into the rungs I can imagine if you're a child seeing that it would sort of stick in your memory and it would be something a bit magical there weren't so many entries in the spoon classes this year but a great variety nonetheless and this one uh, was I thought particularly impressive and it did get a, a, a winning placing and quite rightly so look at that detail in there it's so precise <laughs> it's all been done by hand by a very skilled craftsperson and that one actually looked lovely on the reverse side as well it had a very nice facets to it these are the spoons in the sanded finish again a good variety of styles now we have a presentation so the first second and third placings in each class uh, get a little bit of prize money and a certificate and it's always good fun we have a everyone come gets together and we have the presentation ceremony uh, always quite a lot of laughter and clapping and congratulating <laughs> So there you have it, best in show. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.